no prizes for guessing where I am today. Moilvamai Bulch Pen Barras. Or the top of it anyway. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm going to go up to the summit of Moilvamai. Popular route is that way. But I'm going to go through uh, Coid Moilvamai, I think. Um, yeah, that's what I'll decide to do. Coid Moilvamai, which I'll show you in a minute. Well, zoom in, I don't know if I can see. It's that bright today. That bright and sunny. You can't see nothing on the screen, as usual. Um, oh, style! I didn't do the style shot. A, there are more styles to come. <laughs> got, to, got to include the style shot. And just around this corner here now, and this is the shot. I like this, I like this view. Jubilee Tower there. That's my destination. Sort of framed by the trees. It's a nice shot that. So anyway, that's where I'm heading. This doesn't look like there's many people up there. Hello. It is a weekday and it is early. So yeah, nice, nice shot there. Anyway, keep going. And if you want to, of the two routes, this is the quieter one. And you hear a bit more wildlife and that. You don't get the views until about the last, like I say, the quarter, that last climb. The, the other route, you get views over the Vale of Cluid and everything for the full length of the walk. Like we're here, you just got the forestry, but at least you got sounds of the birds and you might see a bit of wildlife from what have you and it's a bit quieter well it's a lot quieter actually as you can see on the sign there there's blue roots red roots and what have you so there are signs but i would advise if you ever want to walk around here get a map have a look on the map and work out a route just in case you get lost although it's not too bad like but uh, still i would always recommend having a look on a map first Uh, turn left from there. Won't be long now before I get to the money tree. Gaining height now. But the best is yet to come. Climbing now. <laughs> That's like I say, the last quarter. That's when the walk begins. <laughs> Almost at the money tree. And there it is, the money tree. And there's another, well, not a tree, well, it's a bit of a stump, really. The top of Snowdon, Urwitha. There's another one there where the path meets the, um, the train track. Anyway, I'll show you it now, the money tree. Sure, in the end here, you can see, hopefully, Make out money on it. There's money all, all the way down it. Hope this camera will pick it out. Slow down. Yeah, there's money. All these little slots you can see. Little coins. All the way down. I bet a lot of people. When they see that, they think, oh no, and they turn back, but oh, to me, it's like a moth to the light. There's a bit of it. There, there's a section of it there. And that's towards the summit, but oh, there's the uh, kissing gate. There. But uh, you cannot see the actual tower until you actually reach that kissing gate. 
but uh, you can get the views towards the Wirral and over the Vale of Cluid, which I'll show you on the way up. There's a bit more of the uh, climb, and if I zoom in, I'll give you a bit of scale. I'll see if I can find them. You can see some walkers there. Got them. Gives you an idea, a bit of an idea of the scale of the distance and also the climb. Bring it on. It's <laughs> looking down towards, uh, well, the Wirral and what have you. Get a better view from the tops of the uh, well, Vam itself. But yeah, that's the uh, about the last quarter, I would say, of the climb. Where are they? There they are. And that's the uh, that's the path ahead of me. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Bring it on! Right, here we go. <laughs> bit I've been looking forward to. Bring it on. Easier route! What? <laughs> you must be joking. Oh, I'll be getting up the I'll be getting the train up Snowden. Are we that? Oh, I keep going. Look at that. <laughs> oh I love it, I love it. Nice views too looking back now. Right, so I'm gonna show you now the things I do to get um, my shots for a walk. Now then watch this. That's if the camera doesn't fall over because it's that steep. Now then, get a bit of an angle. Whoa, hang on. Camera nearly went then. I'm even this one on a tripod. Yeah. Now then, I've made it the I've made it this far. I've got to walk back and walk back up again. Just to get one shot. Anyway. I love it. Back up, just to get the shot. And that's it, that's the things I do to get a shot. Oop. Catching that walker up. It's got a Where is he? There. Uh, he or she, I don't know, he's got a dog which keeps stopping, or he keeps stopping for a breather. Looking back at me. Ah, the only time I stop, hang on, <laughs> is when I've got to set up a shot like you just saw then, otherwise, keep going. Don't stop, <laughs> keep going. I love it. Yeah, it gets even steeper. That is the steepest section, to be fair. Where is it? There. Up it there. That is very steep. Which I will, uh, no doubt, show you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> steep. Steep. This is not steep. This is ridiculously steep. I love it. Keep going. Okay, this is uh, another ridiculously steep walk shot. Hopefully, uh, the camera doesn't fall over. It's that, it's that much of a set that it probably doesn't look like it on camera. Anyway, this is, this is what I gotta do just to get another one shot.
that's the second ridiculously steep take which you probably if I hold it like that that's probably makes it you know you can see exactly what how steep it is it's ridiculously steep but I love it there's the veil there veil of fluid nice pan there Anyway, oh, it's boiling now too. Keep going. Not far off now. That's the last section now to the uh, to the kissing gate. You still can't see the tower. So it suddenly just comes into view. Anyway, looking back, that's the uh, the popular path. Or a bit of it. Just give you a bit of, of the views. Beautiful. Anyway, levels off a tad, and then you just got a little. Bit of a climb, so nothing much really. And then I'll be at the summit. Moil of Lamai. And the Jubilee Tower. It's the highest, um, well, hill. They're not classed as mountains. They're not high enough, apparently. 1,000 and, I don't know, 33 feet, is it? I don't know, I can't remember now. Well, Vamai is the highest of the Cludians, anyway. It's a little bit to go now. And still no sign of the tower. There's Rithin. Hopefully I got it in shot. Just keep moving the camera around because the bright conditions, I can't see exactly what I'm filming. But uh, the tower will come into view any second now you don't see it on this walk you see it on the main walk just this bit of rocky section to go and then the tower comes into view which you'll see any second now and there she is so that means I've made it Okay, I know, I know, it's not exactly a style shot, but kissing gate shot, better than nothing. And there it is, Jubilee Tower, and that's the way I'll be returning <coughs> on the, uh, uh, the popular path I call it, or the main path, or what have you, that's the way I'll be heading back. Um, just spend uh, 20 minutes, half an hour up here my other views and what have you it's one or two up here but it's pretty quiet which I thought it would be actually if you come here on a well a day like this on a Saturday say or a Sunday it'll be packed up here absolutely packed yeah anyway there's the tower oh what's left of it it was three times the height of that but it got damaged in the storm Looking over to well, it's more of the park and Penaclothii, that's what the mountain and wall's gonna do, which is there. You got Moil Arthur just in front of it there. But Penaclothii I was gonna do. So anyway, let's have a wander at the tower, see what's going on up there. Don't think there's anyone up there now. Give you a panoramic view. There 
there's no one here, got it all to myself. You see these plaques? If you look on them plaques, and that's what you should see. Give you an indication of what, what you're likely to see. And that's what the Jubilee Tower originally looked like. Let's see if you could hear that over that dog yapping. Where are we heading back? Yeah, I've seen these plaques here. You got, they got points of interest. Or what you what you see actually see, and then you point it out on that on that plaque. So yeah, beautiful day for the views. The last walk was uh, Moilatha. Got to the top, you may have watched that, my laugh Um but uh, which is, hang on, I think I missed there, somewhere there is my laugh and that's across there, hang on, is Penaclodiae, there's Penaclodiae, and that's my laugh Hopefully I got them in shot. Like I say, I can't see nothing <coughs> on the screen. But yeah, I got to the summit, you couldn't see a thing. Mist dropped, so. So yeah, anyway, this is the Jubilee Tower. So, spend about 20 minutes up here. Have a few drinks or whatever, and then I'll be heading back down that way. Back down the main path, as I call it, or the popular path. So yeah, I made it. So, I'll have a... Bit of a drink now and a bit of a sit down somewhere. Breezy downhill all the way now. Not for me. <laughs> Definitely not. Walk up here, but not run up here. No, I'll give that one a miss. It's looking towards Denby. I'll just zoom in and just sort of move it about a bit. The camera, because Hopefully, I got it in shot. I can't see nothing on the screen. Anyway, there's a sheep. <laughs> there's a runner in the Jubilee Tower. And that's me. <laughs> anyway, onwards and downwards now. Nice welcome breeze too. A few making their way up now. On a lot of these styles um, up here, you've got the uh, little section there. So your dog can get through, so if you're carrying or lifting your dog over the stile. See a little sign there? Coduch, lift. Coduch, it's my Welsh lesson again. Lift. And what you do is, you see there, you just get hold of that. And just lift it up and get your dog through. So if you were uh, humping your dog over the stile, always keep your dog on a lead. A 
view on the path now, making their way up and down. Should have shouted a bit then, I don't know if you called that. There's a few on the path making their way up and down. There was a bit of a breeze came across. So I thought I'd repeat it just in case you didn't hear it. Anyway, nice, nice welcome breeze. Lovely. I just had to do it. Always time for one of these. <laughs> that is a geocache by the way, it's one of, that I've bagged, well, ages ago. There's always time for one of them. <laughs> had to do it. Yeah, there's no way I would drive up that road or down that road with a learner driver behind the wheel. No way. If you want to see what the um, actual full length of the Bulch, Bulch Penbaris, I've got videos on my channel. Just search Bulch Penbaris. I filmed it going down and I filmed it coming up as well. So you'll see what it's like. It's one hell of a road. Well, as you can see, I'm back at the car park, and uh, so that means it's the end of another mini adventure. Behind me there is Voil Ventley. Um, I could have done that today, but it's such a short walk. I'll be to the top of that in about 10 minutes. It's just a pimple, really. That's why I decided to do Moil Vamai. So yeah, so thanks for joining me, as always. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again. <laughs>